Hey, Pizza Hut and Terminator fans. I'm McGee, the director of Terminator Salvation. We've put together an exclusive clip just for you. You're about to see the Harvester attacking humanity. Harvester is one of the meanest machines Skynet has created. Check it out. at the uh, gas station. Ready and action! Come on! All traffic. The philosophy on the film has been to do as much here practically as we can. We do what you gotta do to create an environment of realism. So we like to build everything and blow everything up and really drive the car and really have the fire. Let it go! And when it's time to extend with CG, we do that. We built the gas station from the ground up. It was a barren desert. We brought some graders in, plowed out the field. It was created as a set, but it was built as a structural element. So then we had to go in and weaken the building and remove components so that we could cause that to collapse. And then we have to put our charges in to create the fireballs. When the charge goes off, it blows the fireball out in the direction we aim it. Right away, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's fun those days when you have practical effects and you go talk to the effects guys and you say, I want it bigger, I want to feel the heat coming off, and I want that war reality. The main explosion effect was a gasoline tanker exploding. So we had to take a 28-foot tanker and uh, recreate it with lightweight, thin materials that we could blow up safely. So we basically fabricated the thing out of sheet aluminum and, and soft wood loaded it with explosives and gasoline. Today, we're gonna to do uh, blow up the gas station, the tanker, and a fireball right near the gas pump. And what we're gonna do is when a tow truck gets to the street at a mark, we're gonna push the button. The tanker's gonna explode, just the back half of the gas station is gonna blow up with a big fireball. 350 milliseconds later, the gas station is gonna have the final fireball about 80 by 80 feet. The logistics of filming that kind of an event People have to be, you know, relatively in the proximity. We have a lot of other action and stuff going on. It's not just about the explosion. There's stunt guys running here and there and other cars on the road. It's very complicated. If it all goes at once, it's just a big blast. But the reality is there's a lot of detailed little things that happen in a proper sequence to create the effect. We'll have the helicopter, the ultimate arm, and the techno crane playing all at once, and then a couple of crash cameras. We'll have to be very careful about how we set our cameras there, because we only have one take of that. Uh, the camera people, they all start their cameras on remote switches and get in a truck and drive away. There's cameras up close that are protected in crash housings. 
physically the cameras are fine you know the heat's just a few seconds and then it's over with this is the explosion point this is where the truck will be when the tanker first goes up the fireball is probably uh probably maybe 80 feet in the air and 80 feet in diameter okay then as gary will say three two one action jim will be action on the truck counter move on the left the helicopter will be out here we'll get that and then bang it was an extraordinarily large experience, and I want to know that we made our mark, and uh, that concussion is felt. 